You can download some 3D models from websites. It won't work every time, but I'll show you what to look for in the cases that it does work, and then the signs that it's probably gonna be a lot of trouble and it's just not worth it. So most small websites, like this one for instance, uh, it can be downloaded pretty easy. So you can see in the background there's these palm trees and little effects and animations and whatever, but to download the base of the 3D model itself, all I would do is hit Control shift c on the keyboard and bring up my developer tools and uh, I'll be the first to tell you I don't know anything about web design but you really don't have to to know what you're doing here so all I'm going to do is go to the network tab and there's nothing here so what we're going to do is refresh the page and you will see slowly all of these assets come in and these are just the assets that make up the website so you'll see there's all sorts of PNGs and different json files or, or no that's actually javascript sorry uh, just all the random stuff that makes this web page work but we're looking for a 3d model well it doesn't exactly just scream at you what what that model is though you are looking for in most cases either a glb or a gltf file because those are the real-time rendering files used in most web pages uh, so we're going to look for something like that and it makes it a lot easier where we can just go to the top here and search it because like this actually is not too bad uh, of a, a list, but sometimes it can be pretty long. So I'm just going to search GLB and you can see I got a couple files here. So you can just double click on any one of these and it'll download. But the difficulty is you don't really know what you're looking at because usually they're not named pretty accurately and there's no size here in my case. It, it, this could be different in every instance. Like sometimes the size will be there, sometimes it won't. So what we can actually do is disable caching and then refresh the page again. And so that will show us what the file sizes are. So you can see the, the draft file here is way bigger than everything else. So I got a sneaking suspicion that that's what we're looking for because typically these 3D models tend to be larger than most things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that file by double clicking on it and you'll see here in my downloads, here is the draft.glb. And so I'm gonna go into Blender and open that up. Delete the default stuff and go to file import glb or gltf 2.0 and then if i go to my downloads there is my draft and so you can see here is my scene uh, it has pretty much everything it's even got keyframed animations here at the bottom and if i go to the viewport shading you can see all the textures that are inside the glb file because it is not just a mesh and you know here is everything so now if i wanted it as something different just file export and it should be good to go but let's take a step back and say the glb file wasn't there at all like what what is our next course of action well likely it's just not going to work there's a couple things that it could be but more than likely it's some encrypted super proprietary file type that is made specifically by that website and this is you'll see this on like sketchfab or any other like bigger website not so much these smaller things and so it's going to be so much work to unencrypt it that it's probably not worth it but i'll show you where to look just in the off chance you do want to follow that rabbit hole and see if you can do it so i'll show you an example that does not use a glb file so like i was saying sketchfab is one of them so i'll hit Control shift c for the developer tools again and just like before i'll go to network and like i mentioned actually first i'll refresh it to show you that with all these items here if i search glb it is going to come up with nothing and that's because they don't use a glb file they use something encrypted and so to find that something i'm going to again disable caching refresh it and with all of these here i can actually see every item's file type and i'll sort by size and so here i am at the bottom and sure enough model file dot b i n z a, a bins file is that that's just a fake thing that's something that sketchfab made so there's not like a way to drop this into blender and then poof there it is save it as whatever, whatever file type you want so you can locate these files but translating them into what you need to you into some other file type that's going to be a tough problem to solve uh sketchfab is not the only one like i've seen pda files before like that's just that's not a thing that's not it's some encrypted thing and you can try downloading it like right there i just downloaded and sure enough here it is in my downloads but yeah again like you're not gonna be able to do anything with it so 
Hope that helps, uh, at least shows you where to look if you're able to find that GLB file. Otherwise, it's probably gonna look a little dicey, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will be happy to help.